there boys and girls and how are you doing today i am miss amy and it is a joy to have you here with me today we are going to be talking about some pictures okay now these pictures are taken from your fun with language book two part one textbook fun with language book two part one I want you to get that book for me and you're going to turn to page 61. It's Fun With Language, Book 2, Part 1, page 61. When you have your book and you turn to page 61, you should see this. If this is in your book, if you can see this picture on page 61, then you have the right book. Let me say that again. It's Fun With Language, Book 2, Part 1, page 61. On this page, at the very top of the page, it says Lesson 2. Lesson 2. Can you see that, boys and girls? Okay, so under that, it says Talk About the Pictures and write a sentence about each picture. How many pictures can you see on this page? We can see two pictures. Can you see two pictures, boys and girls? Oh yes, very good. Now the first picture, there is a car, and then there is sun. At the bottom, there is another picture. In this picture, we can see a pond, we have ducks, and something is happening in that picture. Can you tell me what it is? It is raining. It is a rainy day. Okay, boys and girls. So take a look again. Now in this first picture, we can see a red car. The color of that car is red. And we can also see Mr. Sun. The sun is out. So therefore, it is a sunny day. Very good. Whenever the sun is out, that type of day is a sunny day. So, let us make some sentences with this picture. Are you ready? Now, here is what I want you to do. In order for you to do this exercise with me, I want you to go quickly and get a ruler and a pencil. Now, if you have your textbook, you're going to take your ruler and draw three lines in your textbook because we are going to write our sentences on the line. Now, if you do not have the textbook, you can write in your exercise book. That is okay too. Now here is the picture on your screen. So you're going to use this picture as a guide. Okay? So I want you to write three sentences about this picture. You can say, there is a red car on the road. That is a very nice sentence. In the picture, we can see a red car. And where do cars be? They are on the road. Now, can you make two more sentences for me? You can make a sentence with Mr. Sun. And we can say, it is a sunny day. We can say that because we see Mr. Sun in the picture. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you're writing. It is time for us to write our third sentence. What else can we write about the picture? We can say it is a hot day. Whenever the sun is out, usually the place is very hot. So we can say it is a hot day. There you go, boys and girls. We have three beautiful sentences about this picture. Now, 
Time to write some sentences on picture number two. Before we do that, I want us to examine this picture. Let's take a closer look at this picture. So, in this picture, we have a pawn. And in this pawn, we have some ducks. We can also see that the ducks are having fun in the pond. And what type of weather it is? It is a rainy day. How do we know it is raining? We can see the rain falling. Okay? Now, are you ready to write your sentences on this picture? Now, boys and girls, once again, if you're using your textbook, now you're going to take your ruler and you're going to draw three lines in your textbook. If you do not have the textbook, you can do it in your exercise book. It is totally okay too. So you're going to write three sentences about picture number two. So we can write about the rain, we can write about the ducks, and we can write about the pawn. Okay, boys and girls, write, write, write. You are writing three sentences about this picture. So, we can say the ducks are in the pond. The ducks are in the pond. Let us now make a sentence with the word rain. We can say today is a rainy day. Or we can say the rain is falling heavily outside. The rain is falling heavily outside. Now it's time for us to write our third sentence. We're going to write this sentence using the word pond. P-O-N-D, pond. We can say the pond is deep. We can say they are many ducks in the pond. We have three sentences on this picture. Now, boys and girls, I want you to write one sentence about picture number two, but I want you to use some rhyming words. Do you know rhyming words? Rhyming words are words that sounds the same. It has a similar ending sound. For example, we have rain, drain. Rain, drain. See boys and girls? Say the words with me. Rain, drain. One more time. Rain, drain. Now, these two words are considered or they're called rhyming words because they sound similar. Okay, boys and girls? All right. So, here's what we are going to do now. We are going to turn to page 62. Turn to page 62. 
when you're on page 62, you should see these pictures. Take a look. Take a look on your screen and take a look in your textbook if you have this picture. On page 62, it says lesson 3. Lesson 3. Then it says to talk about the pictures and write about each picture. So let us take a look at picture number one. We're going to be looking at picture number one. In picture number one, we can see that the trees are blowing from side to side. So therefore, it is a windy day. Good job. It is a windy day. A windy day is when the wind is very strong, okay? And it can blow things around. The trees will be moving from side to side. If you're holding an umbrella, then you're going to be struggling to keep it because it will be blowing. That is a windy day. Now in the picture, we can see the person in red holding on to her hat. Can you guess why she's holding on to her hat? She is holding on to her hat because the wind is very strong. And if she doesn't, then it's going to be blown away. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for us to write some sentences on this picture. Can you tell me two sentences about this picture? We can say, it is a windy day. The children are hurrying to get home. What else can we say? The trees are moving from side to side. Very good. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look now at picture number two. In this picture, we can see it is a cloudy day. They are dark clouds around. And whenever the place is dark, and you can see the clouds looking gray and even black. Therefore, it is a cloudy day. Do you like cloudy days? No? Many persons don't like cloudy days. But guess what? Some of us love cloudy days because on those days, we can get to stay indoors, we can get to look at television, we can get to play board games with our families. So cloudy days can be very fun too. Okay, boys and girls? So let us take a look at this picture again. In this picture, the clouds are dark, so it's a cloudy day and we now we can see there is a bus also in this picture now since it's a school bus therefore they are school children in this bus they are children just like you so boys and girls let us make some sentences about this picture we can say it is a cloudy day we can also say the children are in the yellow school bus they are going home okay boys and girls now all of this exercise today was taken from our fun with language book 2 part 1 page 61 and 62 in this exercise today, we learn to look at the pictures and write sentences about them. Okay, boys and girls?